Hey guys, just a, a little update this week. We want to show you on the fakes that we've been working on and a couple of other juice features that we've been working on as well. So before we go into the fakes, just show you a couple of improvements we've made. The mouse now um, highlights anything that you're on, which is good for being able to click on no, knowing where the hitboxes are for each item and stuff. So that's a big improvement. Also, if you go over particular relics, um, their color will change depending on their rarity. Um, so that's a good indicator. The other thing we've done as well is the auction house. Are we quite far away from the auction house? Yeah. Speed up the, the game so we can get to it. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> about now. Cool. So we've, we've added the, the models as preview windows uh, on the auction house uh, just because it makes it a lot easier for you to pick what you want yeah. and what type of museum you're going for. It's easier stuff. to see if you've already got it in your museum. Yeah, and we've improved the, the font here as well yeah. and everything just to, to make colors. it a little bit better. Uh, we're having a bit of an issue at the moment with the font because we need to reset the size mm. uh, of the text fields on almost every part of the UI, uh, but we should be able to do that by the end of this week. Yeah, so we'll just show you the fakes that we've, we've got so far for the History for History. Um, so yeah, which one do you want to do first? So Fountain, Fountain of Youth? You yeah. Talk about it. Yeah, so the Fountain of Youth is um, it's a, a fake that makes your guests want to go to the toilet, which means that if you place a toilet nearby, uh, you can rack up the price of that toilet and they'll, they'll happily pay for it. Yeah. Um, something in a similar vein is the Suggestive Stone, which is basically just, uh, you just saw there, he just got influenced by it. It basically just makes the guests either a random chance of being hungry or thirsty, so it's good also to place stands nearby. Um, We've got the the phony the phony bony or the bony phony, <laughs> <laughs> which basically just uh, saps money from potential guests that walk by. So just the magnet to suck out the change. Um, yeah, yeah, just there. over there. And we've also and then some of them don't necessarily have powers, but they still give awe to the guests. So for example, the fake dinosaur, the shy dinosaur here, just is a uh, <laughs> it's just a head behind a rock. <laughs> and then we're still working on this one. But basically, an actor will come out onto the stage and pretend that he's um, a Neanderthal, like a missing link, and then occasionally he'll go back into the cave and then go backstage and cry to so himself. Yeah, <laughs> so with this one, we will not have any special abilities. Again, it will just be a good way for you to impress your guests. Yeah. Uh, because not, we, we don't want all, all of these fakes to feel overpowered and feel like mm. they have these special abilities that you really must have them. Uh, but we definitely want some cool looking ones that you just want to put them down just because they look cool. Yeah. And, and that's about it, really. That's you know, we're um, still working on the next build, which will be coming soon. Still yeah. working on all the improvements. And, and again, stuff. we've made a lot of improvements to the to the um, podium system, yeah. including the scores, still working on that. Um, visualization. But we're still working on that, and we haven't added any new animations. So it's been mostly code updates. So we don't want to to go into that again that. this week. <laughs> uh, hopefully next week we'll be like yeah. almost completely ready to, to yeah. show off. Cool. cool. So cheers, guys. Thanks.